I got it. I got a key. Yay. A key to the library. Good. Alright, let's go to the library! I want to read something! Yay, I locked it! Time to go in! Oh hey, I know that picture too! What a nice picture. Ooh, a pen and ink. Could use that. Hey, what's up with the clock? The hatch is stuck. Besides, you need to notice the other hand is the hour already is missing. Yeah, I noticed that. Actually, I wonder, since this is a Barker place, I wonder if there's any ghosts in here. Oh, hello. Must be broken. <sighs> Where did you pop out from? You scared me. Aw, oh, that like keeps those cars away, is like. I can indeed. You have to do more than that if you want to scare the brave Goosebusters such as I. No, Musty, I'm the bravest Goosebuster in all of Europe. Y'all just having a high time, Mr. Dowell. How do you know my name? I know many things about you, Mr. Dowell, more than you could imagine. But I may introduce myself. I am Theodore Barker, Count of Blacktown. Count of Blacktown? You too? Me too. Why you mean, Miss Dow? I met this Willie guy in the amusement arcade. He told me he was Count of Blacktown. You met Sir William. I had been Count of Blacktown as well. We both have been, just though we belong to two different ages. Different ages? Sure, you're younger than him. You belong to a different age. <laughs> You're a new generation, the internet generation. Cherished of strange fashions, I could tell from your steampunk hair. Blood stay focused. You wasn't wondering how come to be ourselves to your eyes only. Well, I don't know why, that was the only mortal we can talk to. No, now I'm the only mortal they can talk to. Sometimes I really cannot stand a woman's snobbiness. However, I cannot say I'm not proud they are talking only to me. They must have been impressed by my skills and cleverness. Please, Count, go ahead. Was I to help you cast out the disturbing creatures threatening the great quietude of Almana? Thank you very much, but you don't have to. You see, Count, I am the best Ghostbuster in all of Europe. Do not interrupt me! Sorry, Count, go ahead. Fortunately, you can't interfere with the mortal world, not as much as we'd love to, at least. We've been allowed to help you, but only up to a point. Therefore, you'll need to work hard for each clue we might give you. Tell you, you don't have to worry about it. You're talking to a world famous Ghostbusty legend. Do not interrupt me! Sorry, touch you, our hawk out. I have one last clue for you. There's a cave outside, somewhere near an old lot house. The cave leads to a secret room, right beneath the manor. You'll have to go through there in order to solve the mystery. I have to find a new, the old way from the old map, which has been torn to four pieces. Pieces scattered about the manor. I knew I already found one. Great. Please stop interrupting me. We're going to help you. Come on, Joe, you'll have to prove yourself while you've all help. You may be young, but he's really boring. Guess I'm talking more to the count here. Mr. Red read the game subs. Subs? Never had such thing. You say so. What's the matter, Mr. Dow? Let's see. The pendulum's clock hour hand is missing. Do you know where I could find it? Yeah, the hand is missing as Count William Barker took it to use it as a bookmark. Wouldn't it been easier to use a scrap of paper instead? A woman can be very eccentric at times. 
You'll find the eye and in the book Sir William have been reading just for that fateful game of chess. I really passed out just before the end of the game. Which book is it? As I told you, we've all been allowed to help you, but on a difficult point. You have to prove yourself worthy of our help. If I'll tell you, provided you correctly answer the following question. Shoot. It's about my greatest passion, the one which led to my death. Horse riding. Horse riding sounds like a flogging, like flogging a dead horse. Stop talking nonsense and listen to my question. Why do you call two beat gait of a horse while the dining up pairs of legs move and sink? Um, cha cha cha. So I must now wrong answer. Well, I don't know. Do I know anybody who actually knows anything about farm animals? Hmm. Go go out the door, Donald. Just want me to go out the door. There we go. What the heck was that about? I thought I was seen up. Shut up, Donald. Hello, Vincent. Would you like to talk some more? Why don't you take a break? So I could go in the freaking church. There's only one thing that I would consider as what taking a break for. Why? A nice cold beer. Uh, the man of serves excellent beer. Where'd you go get one? I'd love to, but Sherry forbade me from entering the manor. Huh? Told her she was playing as blood. See, I always get the wrong key because of stupid guest room formula. formula. Yeah, it is a confusing formula. Then we started arguing and I threatened to mutilate her here. Well, that's not very nice. That's why she won't let me in. If I get too close, she'll have me shut away in the asylum. I see. Okay, well, it was nice chatting to you. If that's the case, I have a nice pint of Guinness right here for you. Here you go. Hey Vincent, how about an ice cold beer? A kid for a little job black stuff. Black stuff. Here you go. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Where is my horse? Into the church! Away! Who is this? It says the promised land walkthrough, an adventure game by Lucas Arts, 1500 BC. Once at the Red Sea, use the stick with the sea and divide the waters. Talk to the man on your right and tell him to make your people cross the sea. You'll find yourself on the opposite shore. Use a stick with the sea once again. You will allow the waters to flood back upon the Pharaoh's army, drowning it. Unfold the map and click to continue toward the desert. How riveting. Anything else? David's Quest walkthrough. Adventure game by Sierra 9000 BC. You find yourself facing Goliath. Talk to him and distract him by saying there's a three-headed monkey right behind him. Use the knife with yourself, you will cut a piece of cloth from your own robes. Pick up the little wooden stick near the rocks on your left, use the piece of cloth with the stick, and you'll get a sling. Pick up the rock near David as fast as you can, since Goliath might turn around. Use the rock with the sling, you'll get a loaded sling, use it glad and enjoy the final cutscene. Any more? It says, the great fl- okay, we- Brick up hammer, okay. Oh, I see, this is the whole story of Noah. Yes, imagine if the Bible was turned into an adventure game. Anyway, where's the button? I have a feeling there might be a ghost here. A holy ghost. I pushed the button. 33 mega SP pushing again. 
There we go. Nothing happened. Must be broken. Uh, you scared me, Father. I did not see you come in. Father? I'm not a priest. I'm the architect Alfred Barker. And you're a priest architect. Congratulations. I've never been able to earn two different degrees before. Two different degrees? What are you talking about? Two different degrees, one in architecture and the other in churchology. I guess this is what you call it. I told you, I'm not a priest. My apologies, Reverend, but I have not introduced myself. How impolite of me. My name is Donald Dowell. I am a skilled ghostbuster. And please bear my name in mind next time you talk to the boss. You know you're raving mad, don't you? Me? Uh, I've, you have not met the painter out there yet. He cut his own ear off. Alright. Well, he said he's an architect. I need an architect. Hello, it's your... I was about to tell you, I'm not a church man. Why are you in a church? Since you are an architect as well, may I commission you to draw up some plans? I'm not an architect as well. I'm just an architect. As you wish, Reverend, so may I commission some plans from you? What's the matter? The bridge over the river near the manor gave way, and the workmen who were supposed to fix it need proper architect's plans to guide them. I was wondering, could you draw up the plans yourself? Sure, good. I know that small river very well. But I need a sheet of paper, a pen, and an ink pot. Get them, and I'll draw up the plans for you. Oh, a great time to talk with you for me. God, go with me. So you're the only one who had a great time. Well, fortunately, I have a pen and ink pot. Here you go, Alfred. Here's a pen and ink pot. Excellent. Leave them here. Now, I need a sheet of paper. Um, let me think here. Will my young Frankenstein poster do? Here's a sheet of paper. Actually, it's a poster you can draw on the back. I don't think know what a poster is, but I think it will do. Leave it here. Ta-da! Got everything I need to draw plans. Let's get started. Why is he staring at me? Does he want to waste my time, or is he, like, physically attracted to me? There we go. The plans are done. Wow, I underestimated you, Monsignor. Great, how oh, now the wordman will stop making up excuses. Uh, but where are you? Who knows? Yoink! Well, I said I don't have to go in here anymore. Are you back? I did not tell you to get the hell out of the church. Oh, so sorry. I'll disappear in the blink of an eye. Oh, wait, I blinked. Why do you have to yell at me every time I try to walk to the other side? Jeez. Oh, gee, the sheep is still unconscious. Don't worry, I hear him breathing. Hey, buddy. Let's see. Hey, I guess you're interested in zoology. May I ask you a question? If you really can't help, but. What do you call the two beat gait of a horse where the diagonally opposite pairs of legs move in sync? Trot. No, I don't have to go, but thank you anyway. And I get yelled at again. I just don't get a break. Okay. So first things first, I'll give the Mario Brothers their freaking map. Or plans. And then, I will go in. Talk to the ghost again. Here's your plans. 
I have got great news for you guys. I succeeded in getting the plans for the bridge. Good heavens, good job, Donald. How'd you do it? I've been helped by a very kind priest. A priest? Yes, his name is Father Alfred. The Lord must have seen I was in trouble and decided to send me a vicar of his. Wow, may I see the plans? Here you go. That'll be 25 bucks. Uh, quite complex. I didn't think building a bridge was going to be so tough. According to the plans, they're supposed to lay the bridge planks perfectly flat. How do you think you're supposed to lay them, Sledwees? Oh, that's what I love with those. Shut up, Bo. The only way we can be precise enough is by using a level, which we are currently lacking. You don't need to go any further. All by myself. Do what you be. All by myself. Anymore. Okay, we're going for a level. Because there was one. If you ask him himself, he would never lend it to us. That's because he's afraid Al might break it. Alright, pal. Boy. Alright, dude. Oh my god, he's back from his time traveling. I will talk to him and borrow his level. <sighs> I'm getting too old for this. He's walking back and forth, backtrack after backtrack. This is just annoying. Hey, werewolf guy, I need you. I still don't know why I can't take the shovel. Are you back yet? Oh, he just came back. Ah, Donald. Oh, I'm back. Oh, but should have been, if you've been waiting for me, you should now. Um, you're my friend. Of course I should have. So did you meet your father? Yes, I did. It's been intense as well as better. Sweet and sour experience. My father was a great man. Fortunately, I met him just before he got himself killed. And I couldn't lift a finger to save him. Why? Can't change past events. That's a Barker stated this very clearly in his book. Because if you do, you might break the spatio-temporal continuum, leading to dreadful consequences. You might even cause the universe to explode. Oh dear, so your machine makes you more powerful than any nation bragging about its nukes. At least I was there when he passed away. You said your father got killed. How did it happen? It's killed by a famous hunter, Caesar Von Salad. Caesar Von Salad? I know him. He's a no- I hate him. I don't know him at all. Never heard of him. He's definitely not staying in the hotel. Father suffered from the same disease as I. Turned into a wolf when Caesar Von Salad Salad shot him. So then he's been bragging about killing a huge werewolf who used to scare all these peasants. So the wolf was my father, and he wasn't even at all. I'm still a bit confused. Help me, please. So in short, it was Halloween. MacGyver's father was dressed up as a wolf, trick or treat around as if he were a kid. Hunter mistook him for a wolf and shot him. I guess you could say he had it coming. What? You're yeah, well, just thinking out loud and breaking the fourth wall. Gave me two things before we died. Scrap told from an old map he had found the manor where he used to work as a handyman. Thought it was part of a treasure map and gave me. Hey, I need that. Could you please give it to me? I don't know. It's a gift from my father. Well, did he give you anything else? Yeah, the recipe for a drug was supposed to cure me of my disease. Fortunately, it's useless. You must dip the bullet with, which killed the relative of yours who had been suffering from the same disease in a glass of pure water. Couldn't take the bullet from my father's body since the season was out charged us, forcing me to run away. Could you please give me the recipe at least? I will see if I can figure something out. That's quite a useless recipe after all. Who knows where the bullet which killed my father is? There it is. Thank you very much. Fortunately, I know where that is. It should be in Caesar's hotel room. Because he didn't have it with him in the field while running around looking for deer. 
Oh, right. I was supposed to ask him for a level. Stupid me. Oi. I'm getting too old for this. Hello. I need a level. Have you got a level? So, sure, you're a real handy man if you don't own one. Any word? Usually I don't lend it to anyone, but I'll make an exception since you've been very kind to me. Here it is. Thanks. Yay, now I can go maybe fix the bridge. La 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 la